Hi, this is just a short video about what being a menopause friendly club looks like to us at Garsky Barriers. Earlier in the year, we were asked if we wanted to be part of the Scottish Athletics Menopause Friendly Initiative, and we said yes. And we decided to create a working group, and there's five of us there, but there's another three or four people also working behind the scenes. We decided to start by asking our members um, what their experiences are of the menopause and being in the club. And they were asked just to give a short quote or maybe even just a word or two to sum that up. And one of the main things that came out was the support they receive from their club mates. And we'll go through some of the things that people said. And you can see there's lots of things that are similar across all of these. Talking about symptoms, feeling like you're not alone, and getting some advice. And obviously cake helps. And solidarity, being in it together is a key word there. The other thing that came through really strongly was how exercise helps to manage symptoms. And again, anxiety coming through is one of the key symptoms and that running really helps. Someone talks about HRT and that like becomes part of that discussion where we're being open and being able to talk about these things and that's so important. Another thing that came out was people just being happy to see that it was something being discussed at the club. And some comments talked about not having symptoms yet or not being at that point yet, um, but feeling that they wanted the information and this was so important in making sure that that was there. And we really have to remember that actually some people aren't able to come to the club. Um, and that their views need to be included in this and how can we support people who aren't able to run even though we're a running club. So what next? There's so much stuff out there. Um, we want to make sure that we have people being signposted to reputable resources so we might um, add some links on our web page so that people can go to the appropriate places. We want to arrange a variety of speakers to make sure that those different methods of um, managing symptoms um, are included. Creating spaces for open discussion for those people who aren't able to come to training. Have we got things that are support networks for those people? So maybe an online chat forum or um, maybe groups that meet up outside of the club to have conversations and make people feel not alone. But all of that needs to be done by working together. And we've started that process by asking our members and we'll continue to do that to make sure we're getting feedback that the things we're doing are the right things.